first thing you're going to do is appoint a temporary secretary because Randy's not here. Anybody volunteer? <laughs> you're pretty good at that. <laughs> but, but, oh, I dropped my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would offer that being on three different committees right now um, is, is max out my oh, okay. capability. Of it. And I did it for four years on the. Uh, you, you were good at it, that's why we suggested That's why I suggested it. You don't want me doing this. But. But I think we need some Doritos. You want to go get a bag, Gary? I'm going to leave. I nominate Gary. One meeting. Nobody going to volunteer? I will. You'll volunteer? Great. Okay. Thank you. I don't have a spell with that here. You want some? That's okay. Cool. We don't. That's what they make spell check for. Okay. Um, we didn't. Did Randy print out the minutes? Yeah, he did put the minutes out, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he did. I didn't you know, yeah, print them out. Last week. I might have put them out of the wrong, wrong place. Any correction to the minutes? Comments? No? Motion to approve? Motion to approve the minutes. We have a second? Second. Motion second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Next steps of design. Um, it probably won't be a very long meeting, and it would probably be best as a me repeating what she told me is to have Carolyn explain <laughs> what we should be doing, what our next options are. So moving forward as far as funding. So yes. there's a... I guess I'll just review a couple things from two meetings ago. Um, so the, the, the next step really is for architecture and architectural um, to go out to bid for architecture. But we, have, but we have to get the funding for it, authorized right. before we can do that. So that's what I'm suggesting for springtime. I'm sorry, fall town meeting. Um, and then we would have an idea for the annual town meeting. But I think in the midst of that, I mean, one of the things um, that I think that Mike had stressed so much was the educational part. So for this project, the public outreach is going to be critical. So I think that gives us a lot of time to do that. But we would, we would have some conceptual designs from here, but not a, a finished product from the architect. And that's what's going to be, it's going to help us be successful at the annual town meeting next year. What I'm hoping is, is just the timing of it is, um, I'm really hoping that the governor, the House, and the Senate all agree on, a, on this one bill to, um, to create a municipal building authority, similar like you did, worked with the schools. You had the school authority that um, subsidizes it. It's not the whole funding, but it's a pretty big, significant thing. Um, but the timing of that could be in the next the timing could be really good when we are going to town meeting if we know that that's an opportunity that's um, we, we know we can't do 27 million on our own like well that's what we're talking about right 32 a little, a little lower actually okay yeah. so let's say 30,000 30,000 wouldn't that be nice <laughs> 30 million the town can't do that on their own so I think that the more options we look at and I I've had I started conversations with representative Kerry We've talked about a bond bill because that's kind of a multi-year funding. So it's it's trying to get all of this to coordinate to work. We've got to find additional funding. Again, the town cannot handle, I, I don't think, um, $32 million. So it's going to be, um, I think the, the, the number one thing is to get that architect to go to do, a, to do uh, get the funding for that in the fall. Um, but still start to start the edge. I just think when you start have to start really talking about it. people know it's needed um, But I think that We just got to do a timeline on how we have to start getting the outreach done possibly the best way to break the ice on that one is to Do this at a selectman's meeting whether you invite all of us or just me or just a few of us, Great however whatever it might be, and talk about it and bring up the figure so that it's out there mm -hmm. as opposed to suddenly this just comes out of nowhere. But, you know, it's, it's got to be brought out. The figure is going to be in the ballpark of $30 million for this project. It is going to, where it's going to be, 
what it's going to include. Um, it's a very preliminary, you know, dart on the wall idea, dart on the wall kind of a number, but it's not off by, you know, 100% or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But for anybody that's anywhere remotely involved in construction, and we can talk about, like if you built this library in the senior center today, as opposed to when we did, we would probably be, be paying twice as much at a minimum. More than that. More than that. More than that. Yep. You know, so yep. these two buildings would probably be, what this, was, this was what, about? I, I have one question I actually put off to the treasurer, which is what, what did we pay for? We, we can we can get the, the library was eight point something, but this this was, was a little less. Yeah, five, it's five or six. I was six, was around, was around but six, then you seven. also did um, the substation. The substation too. And you did it for less than twenty seven million. The three. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what people have to see, and that has to be part of the education. You so. know, the the the, oh, the North Hadley substation. I mean, that's a. I'll leave that out of it for the simple reason it's that's a very plain building. Well, it adds to how much it costs for three buildings, and now it's going to cost one. Okay, okay. We, we, okay. We, we, well, we, we need to make a little plan of how, to, what we're, how we're going to talk about that. Do we but, consider the DPW one building? I, I honestly well, well, the DPW is actually like, I want to I say. consider it many buildings. Many buildings. Yeah, yeah, the DPW is actually going to be car, uh, you know, one, what they two, have two DPW is yes. com compound. Or that's what people, because people will say, well, we can just put up a brick here in this garage. That's, that's, that's a building, that's 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 even a situation. And, and so one, save two, the money on the land, you're doing an elevator, which these three didn't have, and start figuring it in. So DPW is almost going to be the, it's almost going to be four buildings the way it's designed, even though they're somewhere they're going to be attached. And there's a lot to it. I mean, we're building... We're building more square footage. You got. It's about twenty-five thousand total. Okay, so the, the the buildings we're going to be building are going to be greater than the square footage of the buildings we've just erected. Combined. Combined. Well, isn't the office building alone thirty-two hundred square feet? I'm sorry, I'm going. The, to well, the yeah, vehicle okay. storage is twelve thousand. Why is that? Because it's a, we're showing it as a two-story to save space right now. So right, right. Yeah, but I mean, how many? Yeah, the footprint, you're right, the admin sort of portion of it is about 3,200 square feet yeah. and the staff right. support and lockers and stuff. You know, that's, so that's we're, we're building a lot of building, so but it's, it's, you know, and, and we need, uh, that's true, we also all need to put together how much we're building with this facility to meet the need. Like right now we have, I mean, most equipment's outside. Uh, most of the, uh, the washing is done outside. The equipment is literally rusting because it's outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody denies that we need something. I would say almost nobody. Nobody. <laughs> almost <somebody>. nobody. <laughs> um, and they're just going to have to get it out what, it, what the estimated cost right now would be. We want to go for fall. I'll explain. We want to go for the funding in the fall. Um, and, you know, just what it's going to be, what it's going to cost. Well, there's also a point that I, I to me, that sticks out is the um, contingencies and um, inflation number that's what's over six million dollars as a line item. To point out that this is not 27 million dollars plus contingencies, but you've got yeah. built into there. You this, know, a quarter of 2025. This is $30 million in 2025 numbers. Correct. Value. This is not $30 right. million dollars in 2023. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because we're, we're not going to, we know we're not going to build it for, be able to get the money for a few years, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're projecting the cost two years out is going to be this. Right. I, I don't think that's a, a when, when you look at the big number, I would definitely point out that there's a big piece of this that is, Taking into consideration by the time it's going to get built. This yeah. is dedicated towards cost. contingencies, you know, oversight, or uh, uh, and um, uh, additional uh, cost increases. Yeah, um, and inflation. Like, right. This this doesn't include the the water line, right? It does, does not. Does not. It does not. Does Do not. we have an estimate for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? Um, like close to a mill. Yeah. Right. It's about nine hundred and something. Yeah, that's right. Depending on obviously. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like there, we could get some, some cost levels, reductions yeah. from that yeah. estimate that we gave you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I, I, I do think in, in past projects that I've worked on, vis, visual, visuals are the most helpful thing to look at what we're doing now, how we're washing the truck, all yeah. of the new trucks. I mean, some of the strategies we've done with other towns are, you know, have DPW open houses, touch a truck days where families come down and they can see the DPW but kind of have a fun time with it. Um, you know, we've done public meetings where we have plans and, you know, can answer questions. Um, the only place you can have a public meeting down there is in the garage, which is great. Yeah, you could have it there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there's a, a social media connection as well that, that I think does help getting pictures and videos of the DPW folks in action, mm -hmm. you know, reminding people what they do for the town and how essential they are. Yeah. And not only there, but in action in those facilities too, just to... Yes, mm -hmm. but also just generally, like, what do they do for the town? Mm -hmm. Most people don't really think about it, I think, you know, but... I, 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 I kind of like your idea of having, like, an open house or something down there, those things, so people right. really can see, uh, you know, yeah, what can. it is and what we're up against, etc. Like, just just for example, so yesterday our, our new truck was del delivered to us, and we we went to bring it in the shop, lap, you know, obviously bring it in the building, and you know it still had the side plow on the old truck, you know, squeaked in. This thing here was did it fit? Barely, like barely. You like you're gonna have to pay. I'd be hesitant about after a snowstorm of multiple hours, somebody parking that truck in the shop for fatigue reasons or whatever, if you're not 100% paying attention that something could happen. And height-wise too, now things have changed, whatever. This this thing is just, I think 11.4 or something we measured. Yeah, we got 12 foot doors. Oh. And that's, this. this is nothing out of the norm of today's standards. Yeah, people drive, try to practice back in the trucks in and yeah, pull the just back like away, I said, like and there really won't be a building seeing, left and it'll be <laughs> like, like somebody really seeing that, you know, this is what we're up against, I mean, it means a lot. I, mean, I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. For these other buildings, we had pictures and, you know, all the, you know, future layouts, some stuff that was there, and we had pictures of all the other stuff, the deficiencies that we presented it special meetings that they had by our station. And this isn't the first effort for this either. Wasn't there an extended Oh, there's been, since I left in 84, there's been two different, this is the third committee, I think, that they had. So the need has been recognized for oh, going for sure. more days. Well, the, 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 the first one was around. I want to say the very 85. first committee was simply building a wash bay. That was one I was on with Pat Kelleher. Um, nice wash bay. Trying to think. <laughs> Pat Kelleher. Uh, the plumber inspector shipment, Ship, no, not shipman. Uh, Salvatore, Salvatore, Pete Salvatore, the uh, garage guy. Was he, he's no longer with you guys, anyways? It, was, it wasn't a very big committee, it was really just to build an end up being to build, to build a uh, a drive through wash bay and a small repair site, small repair facility next to it, which would have been simply a drive, drive in would have fit like two or three vehicles. Um, was it a big facility? And we had a design pretty much set, ready to go out and do something with it. Went to the town uh, administrator to go out for some kind of a bid, get an architect and design done. And he says, no, 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 we don't want to do that. I says, well, what do we want to do? Well, let's hold off on it. <laughs> We're still holding off. It never went anywhere. I mean, there's got to be ROI numbers out there on vehicle washes somewhere. Well, yeah, it I says, mean, you know, we especially have some with the pre-treat stuff that uh, eats away at it as you stand next to it. But well, these guys do a decent job of washing the vehicles, all things considered. What is better when you can be, and they're washing them outside. Right. Which is but you're, you're, I mean. Which, it, which, I mean. I go on the limb and say this that well, I mean, you, you, if you, you, gotta, you may you may not be able to do too much long. You, you got to do do yeah. yeah you you, you, you got a ten right. degree day. They they, they plow snow. So they're going to wash the vehicle. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, to say they do a good job would be anybody's wild guess. That's 
bunch of baloney. I mean, they're they're freezing out there. They're not going to do it. Well, that's that's the water freezes and they're doing it on a on a sub freezing day. Like if it snowed tomorrow, and then our next three days are sub freezing, we can't do it. Okay. You just physically can't. We we make icicles. Yeah. So. So we have to wait till. You know. And yeah, above freezing. We could wait till yeah. a decent. No, day. we and we do have some data on on uh, you know, extended longevity based on both washing and keeping vehicles yeah. inside. Do, you, do you have any data or anything on the environmental side of it? I know there is, you know, different things that come down the pipeline that you know rules change on what you can and cannot do outside in you know, open environment as far as cleaning and things of that nature. I don't know what the current standards are, but I know that, you know, some things you can and can't can and cannot Yeah, I do. think you can, I can't remember exactly now either. I think you can power wash, but not hose down or something like yeah. that. It has to do with I, the oils, I, I would venture to guess either. they have the DPW is in the aquifer. And if you look at the rules for the aquifer zone, you're not supposed to be doing what you're doing. No, I would. I would, I would best, say you're correct. I would, especially, I would, especially, I would my life the, on it. especially where the drain water goes. Right. Yes. Well, it's another important part of why we need it. That's, That's right. right. Absolutely. Right. I, I'm not. Yeah. I, 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 no, I'm it's. glad you're bringing it up. Cause I mean, I mean, because like realistically, I I guess if something happened and the rules change or enforcement really happened, they could shut us down on this period. You, you can't do this at all. You know, I mean, they're only washing yeah. south ops was not going to be, it was already, and, well, know, but it, the it, fact is they're washing salt, but the, the reason you're not allowed to do it is because it, it tends to wash the oils off of the trucks yeah. as well. Yeah. That gets in. That, that, even, that say that's, that's the nasty part of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Even having trucks yeah, just right. parked right. and rainwater. Yeah. They're and leaching oils. Those are good points to bring up, especially Absolutely. when we're looking at funding, additional funding, because sure. you're you're getting into clean water, you're getting into storm water, you're getting to so there's that, that's even even air quality issues. If you really got to want to mm -hmm. get into it, because as you know, if you have a truck that's 50 degrees and it's 10 degrees outside, it's going to start and run a lot cleaner at 50 degrees right. inside than it will outside, right? So it it may be worth too. having Senator Comerford and Representative Kerry come to a meeting. Because I, I actually, I just realized, I think Joe is the one who sponsored the bill for the MBA, and I think this is, would be important information for her to have as she's moving forward to get this bill passed. So I could reach out to both of them to see, just to, just to, I mean, to share all this or to make sure she watches a meeting. I know Senator Comerford's coming to a meeting in May. You may, may want to say that would be a good meeting. To update where we are with all of this and some of the concerns. That's like what? Yep. Should be a select board meeting? Yep. I can reach out. To, if you guys think that's a good idea, I can reach out to Elena Cohen. Okay. I, I would think so. Yeah, let me know. Let us know. Okay. Um, so we, were we going to? Trying to figure out how much, how far we are going to go with the planning. Is that was well, for the one, money for one, the one of the things that we, we talked about last meeting, and Carol is absolutely in agreement with it, when we go for the architectural design, we want real good drawings and real good plan with a real good estimate because we want to go to the bank once. That's it. We don't want to say, we don't want to say, well, we think it's going to be about 25 million, so we're going to have 25, and we come back and ask for more money afterwards. We want to go to the town meeting once, get it right, and do it. Um, um, yeah, we, we don't want. Well, what hopefully, I like the, the $6 million in contingencies. And, 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 and but, I the, mean, you got to base it on a, on a good program. Right. right. You want yeah, we, want, we want it based on a good. An actual drawing that we good, can go good, with. Good. Basically, we want construction drawings out right. of this architect. Did with, we, did with, still, with, does the building committee still have. Larry Tuttle money, the fifty thousand. Was that put? No, I didn't know if they refunded it. Last no, I mean, it's really been gone for two years. Yeah, or more. Yeah. Just out of the, out of the architect, architectural design, we want construction drawings. I, I would, I guess, suggest um, 
the time period between the fall town meeting and the spring town meeting is a little bit tight to go from oh, I agree. design you, 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 to you, construction. Have to, you're not so maybe get it's to, next spring, uh, next two well, fall. We, unless you're able to sort of start some of that design process early. But yeah, we have to be able to get anything. So, so that's, be, that's why we can't go with a, 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 an uh, architect like on call or anything. It has to be, it has to go out to public because we have to, it's based on the cost of the whole project. Sure, no, so that's going to be substantial yeah. for that architect. Well, yeah, it's, sure. it's, I know we had talked about what's the what's the percentage for architect fees? Is it twenty percent? It is listed on there. It's it's like between ten and twelve percent in that range, depending oh, okay. on what additional services are needed. Yeah, you're looking at about a two and a half three million dollar architect yeah. fee. It's on the third, could be the third or fourth page of that estimate that I gave you. I mean, we need to make sure that. People know that if that's the case, and we go forward with this, it's got to be built within that couple of year window that we're talking about, or it's gonna you're gonna have to start all over again. Well, no, the only thing you have to start you you once you hire an architect and you get construction drawings. What's in, what's critical is the, is the dollar value to build, but that architect can be drawn out for a while. Within right. reason, again, you can you can have the architect on board for. Oh yeah, for, I mean, for we've had them on board. What I'm talking about is, you get the architect on board, and it takes instead of the you know coming up to the year vote after you get the money and funding and drawing, right. it goes to two or yes. something like that. Now yeah. you're running into yeah, I mean, your, your no cost overrides. There'd be no right. reason for it to do yeah. that. I mean, the when they did the elementary school, we had the architect on board for five years. They're, they're there for the whole project. Yeah. Right, but the cost of the project's going to go up after we run out of that oh, two-year extended yes. window. Yeah, the construction cost goes up. Yeah, well, that and that's why you get it done. The <laughs> yes. Timeline. Yes. And, and yeah, we have the money. How many times we vote on this building? But you haven't. Which one? Senior center. <laughs> the first one or the second one? Oh, there was, I think, three. There was, huh? Yeah, I think it was three. Well, they kept coming back. They kept shortening it and then coming back and asked for more money and come back. Well, I think that, you know, Given the other things that are out in the air right now, it's important to make sure that people know this thing is coming. Yeah, and I and I think there should be some fluidity. I mean, sometimes town will have a feasibility study and then move to a building committee. But I, the dynamics of the you got there's so much talent right here. I, I think um, if you guys are willing, I would like to make the recommendation for the select board that this continue as a, as the building committee as well. Is that typically? That, 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 that's fine with me. As one, I mean, you need, this, this, this has to be an individual person one at a time. If you want to stay on as a building committee member, you know, let her know if you want to be off. That's fine. Because you actually did this fairly quickly, this feasibility part of it. We got people right here that help a lot when that's, you know what, that's what, what they saying. want. That's what I'm saying. There's really great talent here. Well, and there's also a lot of buy-in here, but everybody here has been down there, it seems like. And it's not that we've been down there once. We've seen this going on for over a decade. Well, you, you don't have anybody on this committee that needs to be trained on construction stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been, I couldn't, like I said, the, the first building committee was on with the school was like, it was interesting, leave it at that. Because you had, you had people that with every good intention, don't get me wrong, right. but when you have a committee where two out of eight people know construction, it's difficult. It is. And the, the worst part about that was you had, so I had people that have been on real committees before, and the chairman, God bless him, got bamboozled by the press over and over and over again. By, they were putting words in his mouth that he had, he didn't know what to say because they would, and he got, he'd get hurt. Far be it to say something that gets taken out of context. <laughs> well, I mean, it was, it, it, it was we, we agreed, the committee, just it's a kind of a funny office site, we, the committee agreed we wouldn't let 
out what the construction cost of the school would be until we had a number from the architect. Okay, well come to find out for the square footage we had, the state reimbursement rate per square footage was going to be this much money. So the press asked the chairman one day, well based on the uh, reimbursement cost and based on everything else, this school's going to cost this much money, is that right? And he goes, well yeah. Next thing you know is the newspaper, the school's going to cost ten million dollars or whatever the number was. People were absolutely blown away. It was never going to cost ten million dollars because we weren't going to do that kind of construction. But this, the, the press ran with it and that became the number we got stuck with. And, you know, and he was trying to be very accommodating. He didn't know how to say no to the press. That was what it came down to be. Anybody that's been put on a spot with, with, with uh, the newspapers before, you'll know, no, I, I can't answer that question, or I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. You know, ask, ask, I'm sure you have been na nailed many times by press <laughs> <laughs> where they try to put words in your mouth. Well, they take words that you say. Yeah. Or they take what they you said and it takes, them, you yeah. say this much and they print this yeah. much. Yeah. I mean, we've all seen it. We probably, many, many of us have been the victims of it, if you would. Um, and you learn from your mistakes. <laughs> so is that something we want to do, is see who wants to be transitioned to that now or be willing to? Is that something that needs to be done now? No, I mean, I, we can even wait until... Um, you, don't, you don't have to make, you don't have to we, make a decision today. We come until, on, yeah, until yeah, closer to town meet, to fall town meeting. Um, once we know it's definitely going on the ward, and, and I think that's our intent. I don't see there any reason why we wouldn't be able to put a scope of work together sure. to get that on board. To be clear, you're looking for 10%, roughly 10% for the architectural fee in fall town meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a good ballpark number. And funding for that would be? Ah, that's Linda's job. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, we don't have that, so it would be borrowed. Yeah. yeah. Free cash is not that big. That so. probably won't look as pretty as these bi uh, buildings anyway, huh? Mm -hmm. It won't look as pretty as these did when, at the rates that, when these were built. Oh, the interest rates? Yeah. But you don't know where it's going to be in two years, right. you know, and you really don't start borrowing until you start to, you need to spend yeah. money. And, and, so and, and the other know. thing is Hadley has a very great bond rating, up, and that has a lot to do with what what the interest rate could be. I mean, yeah, the, I mean, it helps, but you still probably oh no, yeah, you're not going to yeah. you're not going to yeah. you're not going to lowball. They're still going to get prime plus, right? yeah. So. You know, I mean, the banks and the bond companies want to make the money. All right. Um, what else? Really, I don't. Uh, we've been talking about DPWs. Oh, um, visiting other facilities and timing. What, what, where, where would you like? Would you guys would you like to visit? Nick Scott, you put three or four you thought of, right? Yeah, I, uh, of course I didn't bring it with me. Uh, uh, yeah, I have them here. I mean, you were talking about Long Meadow, Full Rain, Holden, and I think you mentioned. Yeah, because those ones had wash bays and stuff too, and I just thought that. Yeah. Long Meadow, Holden, Full Rain, and. The last one was Montague, I think. Right, right. Now, we speak. didn't do Montague, but we still have contacts there, so we could probably arrange yeah. to. How big is the program at Montague? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> we did the study for them, but then somebody I else. went by it Sunday. It's not huge, but it's. Well, it's nice to have, you know, if we go look at these 5,000 or 15,000. It's like one giant big square building. Yeah, it's not that big. It's somewhat similar in, 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 in size, you know. Or Money, you have say. Is yeah, the closest. Is yeah, smaller. The closest one, well, um. Actually, the most similar the most similar one is um, Grafton DPW, which you didn't list. 
a little further away, I know. Yeah, that's right. We were. Yeah, I was but that, talking that's to Gary a 29,000 square foot. It's a pretty similar program. But Holden is also a good one. It's a little bit bigger, but it's a, you know, it's a similar, similar how, how far away is Holden from Grafton? Why am I thinking they're near each other? Uh, they yeah. are. Grafton's a bit further north, right? So I did just mileage from Hadley just to kind of give you a sense. Uh, but yeah, there's 26 miles but difference I have in those two. I think it's Holden and Grafton. See. If you've got one that's yeah, close Holden's to Holden's 37 size. miles away in Worcester County. Yeah. Come on, draw it in. Um, yeah, it's it's northwest of Worcester, north northwest of Worcester, where Grafton is due east. So they're probably 15 miles apart, if that. But you know, you're driving it's, out in one direction. It's less, Holden. though. Yeah. Um, it's just ones on the north at 11 o'clock on Worcester and one's at 3.34 o'clock on Worcester. Just made them sorry, right. so. Because they, and depending on the time, it almost seemed like you'd have two different trips. One for Colway and Montague, which would be relative, which are relatively close. All right, I mean, I guess, I guess in essence, if we go look at the two outside of Worcester, I mean, is that enough? You see a building, you get some ideas, and just well, to me, a program, a sim, something of a similar program size is more right. That yeah. has it'd, more it'd be great to have. Similar yeah, I think features I think well. Walt, Walter or something had mentioned the Montague because it's new and whatever. But yeah, I mean, I mean if, if Grafton is similar to us and Grafton and Holden aren't that far apart, it almost seemed like those two right. would be the most beneficial to go to see something that's close to what we want to put up in size. Um, Grafton's hour and twenty minutes away. Yeah, and Holden is, you know, yeah, less, probably, less probably hour. forty-five minutes. You really from want, there. To, want to work at, look at two build two buildings? Well, we we can and look at under like twelve. Well, I'm looking at a project. <laughs> well, you still little. You're going to there, see aspects of each one that yeah, you I may see. Also more. get. I don't think it's time to do feedback enough. from those DPW folks. Each had a little bit different take about the process and what they thought worked as far as their program and building and what didn't. So. Well, it sounds like you got kind of two trips if you throw Montague in with the coal rain and. Well, you know, I, I would say we should go to see Holden and Grafton in one trip. Probably make that maybe, one first. Maybe East Long Meadow too in that trip. I mean, you'd be old. Long Meadow. Long, Long Meadow. Meadow. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you could you could hit them on the way because they're just okay, south they're of here. But two all together. Um, they're a big, much bigger community. Much deeper, much deeper yep, pockets. Much, deeper much, pockets. Much, there the Long Meadow was a little bit bigger than Holden, so Long Meadow was forty-five and a half thousand square feet. Holden was forty-two. Now, thing to remember here is on a income basis, Long Meadow is not far off of a median income from the town of Hadley whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a richer community by, by far, but Hadley, according to income, is a wealthy community. And they are maxed out. They're at 25, I'm pretty sure, per thousand for their tax rate. Yeah. So even though their homes are really expensive, that's the only thing that's really holding. Getting because, the well, they, they have no industry. They have a few businesses, yeah. but industry is so not they a, have some, they, some they don't have an industrial challenges. piece of the town. Yeah. Big box stores yeah. are not permitted. It's all small mom and pops. Well, um, we do have Aunt, uh, wait. and they have a college. Long Meadow does have Aunt Taylor, and <laughs> you know, they got a little, they're little, they're little, they're they're little they're Andy. They're, I wouldn't so call it. They're not a big box, though. So. <laughs> yeah, but I will say, I mean, you know, a lot of these buildings do have a lot of similarities as far as finishes and, and sort of level of cost. You know, Long Meadow is an example where they do have. We did do brick veneer on the front admin, so it's a little bit fancier, I guess, but otherwise, you know, the, the biggest difference is the size. I mean, it's just a much bigger building. What did, they, what did the Long Meadow facility cost when you built it? I would have to look that up. It was finished during and just after COVID, so okay. it was some funny Same stuff. So it was, it, but it was bid pre-COVID, so. Yeah, so it was half of what it was. Right, I, I can look it up, though. I can get Less than half of what it would be now. Yeah, right, probably. So I, these are a little bit hard to read, but I did bring some plans of, of some of these, at least oh, okay. on oh, the list that, um, that you sent down. So this doesn't include, does not include 
I got it. So if you were to go out, what would you recommend? Which ones? One, two ships. Um, I'm not personally oh, sorry. familiar with uh, Grafton, but just looking at it, it does seem like it's a very similar, similar size. It's a similar, almost a little bit of a similar site issues as well. Um, Are they two stories? It is not two stories. Uh, there one I listed. Actually, there's another one, Hoppington, which is two stories, which is on a very tight site. That would also be a good one to see, actually. So Again, if you're out there, it's just okay. a bit further, but it's, you know, once you're out there, it's not that much further along. That's, that's a great project. Uh, it is a two-story. Um, so maybe that would be a part of that graft and hold and trip, and that's it? That could be. I, I think it's important you guys see a two-story. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, this hold and layout is interesting. A lot of conjoined space. Yep. How, how big is the uh, is the Hoppington one similar to any of us? Hoppington is uh, similar to Holden. It's 41,000 square feet. It's a little bit smaller, but it's pretty similar. Holden looks, yeah, quite He's right. Holden looks very similar to what we have here. It is, yeah. Just a little, just a little, just bit a little bigger. Configured a couple different ways, right. but not. Right. Yep. But, yeah. Uh, Colerain is very, very small. It's only 5,000 square feet. It was a renovation and a, an addition to an existing building. Um, so it, it might be useful to see as an example of maybe what could happen to your existing building potentially, but you know, this, this was a pretty limited. Yeah. yeah that's I don't think... Uh, where would you park that? Uh, they do have a wash <laughs> <laughs> It's sticking out. <laughs> Maybe we should just go take a ride east and start with that. Look at those three. Those three sound good, yeah. Would you then give, and then we could give any feedback or any comments and you could compare with the next. Sure. Yeah. Once with the next. Would you be able to go on, going on a tour, Carolyn, or not? I have I just don't have the time. Okay. You guys know your stuff. You don't need me. One, two, three, four, five. Well, six with Walt. Six with Walt. Seven with Randy. Randy. He could make it. So I may, or, I may or may not have to rely on you guys because you know I'm. Uh, you know, you guys have the luxury of of being on the clock and making the trip. Or I would have to take PTO or something like that to make the trip. But, uh, I was going to ask that question of what your availability was, seeing that you. you're not. Uh, well, you know. I don't know. If, you know, obviously my my first grab would be a Saturday. You know, but uh, and I know that I don't know if these places are open. Yeah, a lot of places are not typically. Open, so. There's there's probably I would guess maybe Hopkinton might. Let us go because we have a really good relationship with them, but I'm yeah. not sure if the others so maybe hold them as well. But I mean, it's at the same good. time, pictures and, and the like, you know, yeah. right, it would suffice. Be better to see them operating. Yeah, I yeah, probably would. And, and yeah. talk to, yeah, all of them, all more than the guy yeah. letting you in the building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, I would suggest that the group makes their best plan and then I'll see whether or not I can join them. So it sounds like Hopkinton, Holden, and Grafton are the three you want to visit first. And Hopkinton's the farthest out of that group, but it's, uh, it's it is, really you know, but once you get there, it's, well, it's not, not that first. Like, that much well, it's right Grafton, now. then Upton, and then Hopkinton. yeah, I'm mean, yeah. no, yeah. they're, in, they're, in, they're in line, but they're probably 20 miles apart, 15 miles apart, right. and then um, Holden is north of that, and you're within the invisible uh, circle of 495. <laughs> see, see what the yeah. 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 Would they work for everybody better? Would Would you got Would you think at this point that Farman's coming into play and Walt's going to be working? Think he'd take the time to go, or what do you think his? Who? Walter. Walt, 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 he's he, like. 
We'd have to ask him. I don't, I, it's going to depend on the day, too. Yeah, I couldn't guess with Walt. Pick a rainy day. A rainy day. Yeah, yeah. We'll pick a rainy <laughs> yeah. day. Um, I think we'll, if we went sooner than later, Walter would probably be able to. Well, he's he's do going it. pretty steady. Yeah. Right he's getting now. he's getting into the planting season right now. Um, he's he's. He's being moved by know. the house. At I don't know. You have to. Have to I, I, I dare not say anything about yeah. whether more. Yeah. He's going to have to. He'd have to answer that question. I think we're going to have to try to schedule it up and see who is available to go. I mean, yeah. You know, pick, pick a couple. You're going to have to line a couple days, two, three days, and see who pick, can. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to line up all three of you know these people we're going to see to get yeah. them all in one day, which you know that's. Is, gonna is that going to be relatively easy to line up with these companies? I don't think it'll places? be a problem. I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay. You get them all lined up on the same I think, day. I think okay. generally they're pretty cooperative. They like showing their buildings off most of them, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, the only thing I got really going is twice a week I have physical therapy for the next two months. So we, you know, we can, we can work around that as much as I can. But other than that, it's just regular meetings. I can move those to some extent. It's going to be what, like a Nine to three, nine. Well, I don't even I would we'll find out. I would plan to spend at least an hour and a half or so at each at each one. building you find that you wander around quite a bit and ask one, questions. two, three, four. So you got about almost five hours at the buildings, and then to, to me it's a seven o'clock. We'll meet yeah. and go kind of thing. Six thirty-seven, go yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seven. yeah. Seven. yeah that, and that's yeah. one day for those three. Yep. Yeah. 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 So you're going to do Grafton, Holden, and Hopkinton? Yes. Okay. So you leave it. Well, you got to, you, to get to the first one, you get an hour's drive. So right. even if you left at 6 or 6, six most of the garages are going to be open at 7 o'clock, right? right. Go to, yeah. Yeah. yeah, go to Hopkinton. So you could, we could easily work leave. Your way back. Work you could easily back. leave at 6.30, 7 6 6.30. 30. Yeah. yeah, around there. So even 6 o'clock. Well, oh. You want to get to Hopkinton you first and work your way back. That's yeah, the probably beat the traffic at 6.30. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, how could then you go from here to uh, 495? Right 495, then you get off 495 second. in Milford and take a left or go down on, I forgot what route it is, go out. The only reason I know that because I used to go to Hopkins Town when I used to work for Avery. We had a plant, we had a building there. <laughs> <laughs> we had a plant in Milford, plant in Hopkinton, and, the main, and then you had the, the ones in Framingham. So we have been to Hopkinton area a couple times. Um, they got a good bakery in Milford. There you go. I got the one. It was a Portuguese I bakery. Were, I thought you were bringing oh, donuts anyway. What? I thought you were bringing donuts anyway. That <laughs> it's getting fairly steady. Yeah. I mean, do you do you have certain days you already have the physical therapy set? Yeah, or? it's all set. But I have to look at the thing. So Can I? I know it's out Typically of my, it's Tuesday my capabilities, but can somebody throw out one of those doodle polls, whatever you want to call it, with the dates and, you know, give some options in the next couple of weeks? I know they do those. Oh, yeah. Your ability I don't know how to do it. Does anybody know how to do that? No, okay. I, I have If no you idea. give me a nudge tomorrow, I can have Jennifer do it. I'll put a note here, but just in case. I'm sure somebody, I, I can have uh, it, one of our staff probably. You want to see? If they yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Jennifer can do it. Okay. What you guys sooner than later, the next week, start start some dates yeah. next yeah. week sure. or the following yeah. week or yeah. sooner than better. Just change whatever. What vehicle you're using? Well, I was just asking you. I don't know if the that, van is uh, I mean they're running fairly steady every day with it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have a conversion van that'll seat seven. I can take five and uh don't we have another truck. I don't know, there's 14 hours to drive, small school bus. I got, I got, I got, it's a Chevy conversion van that'll set comfortably seat seven. It's comfortably, comfortably seat six, so you can, you can put seven. So, it's a, uh, it's an antique this year. I was wondering how old it was. Plates on it. 19, 1998. And it's seaworthy. 
It's got Great a brand new, I put a brand new engine and transmission in it three years ago before COVID. Good for you. Because I couldn't buy another van. It's a, it's a, it's a plain old Chevy oh, van no, that was made into a conversion van, but neither none of these conversion vans, com, conversion van companies are in business. Mm -hmm. The big ones were um, Mark, well, they could different, but the name of the main, the main company was Mark, Laval, and it was a third one. And when I would look and Laval went out of business, they... Uh -huh. And there is a big, they, they don't buy can they don't buy vans anymore like this because mm -hmm. they seldom make them. They've got the you know the over there the the tra the the transit stuff now. transits yeah. and everything yeah. else. But this is a plain old Chevy van that was I mean it's nothing fancy. So they call it a conversion van, but it, it's it, I mean the inside is kinda nice. They it's got fancy little lights and little things. Oh the the, 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 the back <laughs> bench fold, it folds out into a queen size electric van. Nice. Um we used to, when we bought it when, when our girls were young, yeah. and we used to go on vacation yeah. with it, and well, four, three years ago now, the engine was making a noise, and transmission was a little skipping, and I was going to buy a new one. They don't make them. So I went down to a Chevy dealer, told what I wanted. He says, you really want to put that kind of money into that? I said, then find me a brand new van just like this. They don't make them anymore. I says, you got your answer. He says... Well, he's, I'll tell you what, we won't do this unless the vehicle is worthy because that's a lot of money you're going to spend. So as you bring it in, we'll do an inspection. If, we're going to, if we get the job, we'll charge you 50 bucks to, for the inspection. If we don't do it, it'll be 500 bucks for the inspection. I says, fair enough. <clears throat> Brought the van in. It was in there for four hours that they did the inspection. When they got done, the two mechanics that checked it says, where do you keep this van? I says, why? He says, there's no rust on it. <laughs> I says, it's never seen the winter. Yeah. I said, every winter it gets put away, gets washed. He says, you got a little bit of rust on here and there. He says, but there's nothing. He says, I'd rather work on this than one that are three years old. He says, this is going to be a piece of cake. I says, great. He says, yeah, we'll do the job. So I put a new engine, transmission, a few little other other parts, and the engine and tranny got like maybe 3,000 miles on it. The van's wow. 25 years old and it has 130,000 miles. So, and it rides like a car. It rides better than most cars. So if we want to take it, that's fine. Anyways, so we got the three places. To visit, um, we'll do a doodle poll. Do a doodle poll to get some times and dates. And once we get that, John can put together. What do we call John? Jean, John, John, Pierre, Pierre. Amy, <laughs> JP, JP. It sounds too formal. Too formal to call you John Pierre. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, and uh, we can get you the the the. the uh, date and time. Would you be joining us on the tours? Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. Yeah. Would and you somebody meet? else from my office. Mike might come too. If he's Would you meet him out there? Yeah. 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 Well, where is your office anyway? I'm in Foxborough. Oh. Huh? You drive here from Foxborough for all of our meetings? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. Yeah. Go all over the place. <laughs> is it a problem getting, I mean, is there much traffic getting out of here to go home? No. You really? Not this time. He's going in the right direction. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's not yeah. going in the right no, direction. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. No, I was coming out to Long Meadow for two years during construction there every week. So. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, then we'll set up. We'll have to post the meeting if we go. No, you guys are able to visit. You're able to do a site visit without having to be a post Oh, really? Meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who's going to come to yeah. three different... <laughs> you got a roof rack, right? Yeah, you know. Jim. I do. <laughs> <laughs> put, 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 your, put your seat up you on top. Ride, just the public hope it rains. The public can't attend, and you're not going to zoom it. So, committee, committees under open meeting law, if they're doing a site visit, this is a perfect example of where it doesn't have to be posted. Okay. Okay. Just don't make a decision to. Uh, don't, don't, don't <laughs> no have decisions a or deliberations. Yeah. yeah. The girls have trouble. Dee Dee might know how to do that. I do. Yeah, I'm sure one of them probably. Yeah, we'll call it, because I think she's done it before. Yeah. Perfect. I'm 
sure somebody can so figure we'll, that we'll out. We'll set up the next meeting for us. Google polls, too. Yeah, or Google poll, whatever. Yeah, I just there's plenty of Google polls. Yeah, whatever. So we'll set up. We will set up another meeting for the committee until after we have the that, and then we're going to put the information. We'll get everything out, and then we can uh, decide when we have a we'll have a meeting. And depending how many goes, I mean, take my van or something else, or however we're going to do it, depending if we can all fit. Yeah, the the timing will be perfect for this all because um, I have a working group that I work with a capital improvement plan that we're really going to start to work right after the t annual town meeting. We'll start working on this. So this will be a part of that. And really, it's, it is a priority, we know that. Um, so I literally start working on the special, t uh, special town meeting warrant in June. So the timing is good. You don't, have a, you don't have a date for this fall town meeting yet, do you? No. You know, we, we, we always kind of see how it's going with closing the account for 23 when we can get certified. Okay. So there's a lot of things that go into place. So the only reason I ask that is because somebody Thursday asked in uh, October. Um, we've, it's been different. We went into November two well, years yeah, ago. So we, but usually it is based on when we know we're, we're getting close to being certified. But Cause, cause usually some, it's, he's, and he's right, it's usually so Somebody asked if the fall time meeting date has been set yet, and I says no, not yet. I yeah. typically set that in the summer. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to, do you need to tell us that date for the um, public meeting now? I have to, I, well, when they're going to be there. Senator Comerford's definitely going to be there. I think it's the 17th, but I'll confirm. So that, that I do have that as a to do to confirm that. Okay. Then I'll let everybody else know. And even if you pick one or two speak, but if we're all there, I think it'd be good support. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I mean, by no means is it, is it, do I want to be an island. Yep. <laughs> and it was nice on the board meeting the other day, one of the Russell School. Um, CUNY members mentioned that this is priority. It's kind of nice to put it out there at a yeah. meeting. Yeah, the Russell School is going to be an interesting one. <coughs> that meeting is in an hour. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I mean, for the I mean, town meeting, well, you're for the town meeting yeah, it's going to be interesting because. You're not coming, right? Yeah. Yeah. 30, I'm 30 years. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Card. We voted on it. The cost. 30 years ago, the cost to make Russell School, we, we looked at, the committee looked at making Russell School one of the buildings for the new elementary school. Architect looked at it. I, it's in the notes of the, I don't have the notes anymore, but they're in the archive someplace in Hopkins. And the cost, because there's no structure on the school, it's basically a big stone building with a right. wooden frame inside. It needs to be made Hurricane and earthquake Sorry, resistant yeah. for our zone. The cost 30 years ago, estimated cost to do that was about three to four million dollars. I couldn't imagine what it would be today. So I look specifically on the DRA report, the 2019 iteration, which was a rehash of the 2013 one, and they specifically call out. So I went looking through the cost chart, where is the where is the, uh, um, the seismic? Because we knew seismic with, right. uh, with Hooker was going to yeah. be a big deal. Where is the seismic reinforcement and now Hurricane? Um, it was not specified, so you, reading back up, it says, you know, seismic is not included in this estimate. Right. So that estimate, which was at the time $22,900,000 and some odd thousand dollars from 2019, did not include, did not include structural reinforcement. Right. Yeah. And that the and that the, the architect was this practice. It was a lady architect out of Amherst that did the estimate for us, as an aside from the architect that we had on the building committee. I can't think of her name. It'll, it'll come to me. She's she's retired because she was an elderly lady back then. Um, and she says you got to put steel in there. And she says the only way you can re make that building seismic is to steel reinforce it. She says, and the steel it wasn't the, 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 just the steel reinforcing, not to renovate the building. The steel reinforcing was going to be three to four million dollars. I don't even know how you could do that with this because it's all stone. I mean, I, I was I was basically. Gonna, I think you basically build a metal and structure inside of the brick and kind of pull it together, and then you redo the whole inside. Yeah. Basically, 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, it would be cheaper. It's too big. It would be too big rooms. It would be less expensive. So I'm just going to caution you guys because this wasn't on the agenda. And it's going to be on the agenda at no, six yeah. o'clock. If you have any oh. comments to, oh. to personally, but I am concerned if right. it's not on the agenda, we haven't. Okay, right. That wasn't a topic. Um, no, we're not. Okay, you're right. Thank you. Okay. Um, anything else related to the DPW? No. Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is history. Thank you. Thank you very much.